Roy Selridge from Schenectady, New York, smelled like a tuna fish sandwich, left out in the rain. He thought he had a terrific sense of humor, but it was hard to laugh at a guy who had cavities in 19 out of 32 teeth. Joseph Wachowski from Bridgeport, Connecticut had two interesting characteristics. He had the stomach of a goat and could eat anything. His favorite was Hershey bars, with the wrapper still on it. The other peculiar trait was that he had a permanent erection. I'm talking about night and day. There's no explaining this phenomena unless he has a unique form of paralysis. Donald Carney from Montclair, New Jersey was an okay guy, until someone made the fatal mistake of telling him he sounded like Perry Como. His voice was flat, but his sister wasn't. She had the biggest breasts I ever saw. She came to visit him at Fort Dix wearing a tight red sweater, and that's when I first discovered Wachowski's condition. Arnold Epstein of Queens Boulevard, New York was a sensitive, well-read, intelligent young man. His major flaw was that he was incapable of digesting food stronger than hard-boiled eggs. I didn't think he'd last long in the army, because during wartime, it's very hard to go home for dinner every night. I'm Eugene Morris Jerome from Brighton Beach, Brooklyn, New York, and you can tell I've never been away from home before. In my duffel bag are 12 pot roast sandwiches my mother gave me. There were three things I was determined to do in this war. Become a writer, not get killed, and lose my virginity. But first, I had to get through basic training in the murky swamps of Mississippi.